Hello again, Miss Larrabee here. Today we have a project that kind of has the look of pop art, which is a period in time when um, artists were doing things that looked kind of like advertisements, things that um, repeated bold, solid planes of color and sometimes were used, you might think of the St. Campbell soup cans from Andy Warhol, those kind of things, sometimes used common everyday objects um, in repetition as their expression for art. Ours isn't gonna so much use repetition, but we will have bold areas of color and this black and white kind of stylized look today to do a reflection project um, and a little bit of a self-portrait. So you probably know a portrait is um, kind of showing what someone looks like. Usually it's their face. A self-portrait would be something that reflects the artist themselves, that they're making themselves. So today we're going to be somewhere between a portrait and a little bit of ourselves thrown in there too to personalize it um, for our artwork today. The supplies you'll need is paper. Um, I have a link on there. You can print out this paper that has the sunglasses already on it, um, or you can have blank paper and you can draw the sunglasses yourself. Markers, you'll need those a little bit later. You're gonna start out with a pencil and eraser and a Sharpie or a black pen of some kind. Let me show you a couple of examples of where we're going. Um, this is just showing you, there's the sunglasses. We're gonna add some things that make it look like us. This is mine, my son helped me with one as well. This is his. So notice that here's the self-portrait part. Um, there are a few things in here that are a little more me and there's some things on here that are a little more my son based on maybe how the hair is, what we have reflected in our glasses, what colors we usually wear. Um, the shape of our face is a little different. So those are the ways that we're gonna add just a little nod to ourselves. It's obviously not gonna look exactly like us, but a little bit that reflects who we are. Let's go ahead and get started. If you have the printout, like I do, we're gonna start there. But if you don't, let me talk to you very quickly about what you could do. You could draw this yourself. You could actually lay a pair of glasses over this and trace around them. Another option would be, these glasses are about a third of the way up in the paper. We're gonna talk a lot about halves and thirds today as we talk about proportions in the face. So if you take your fingers to the top and bottom of your paper and bring them about middle, and then go up about an inch, you could draw this top line, it's a straight line, a little bit of curve, straight line. And then I would go down here and I would draw the bottom curve of the glasses. And then you would come back in and connect them. And then don't forget to make the inside, the actual glass part to the frame of your glasses. And you can freehand your glasses, that works just as well. But today, if you wanna print it out, I'll give you a little head start. We're gonna be talking about proportions in the face and the glasses is gonna kind of be our central starting point. So pause the video if you need to draw your own glasses and if not, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna draw the shape of our face. We're gonna start with a generic shape which would be more of an oval. And we're gonna draw it, obviously it's gonna intersect our glasses, right? So the eyes are generally just above the middle of your head. So take a look, if you have a mirror nearby, Kind of take a look and see how true that is for you. Put a finger on the top of your head and a finger under your chin and see if they meet somewhere probably just below your eyes, maybe the center of your nose. Here's a little, uh, a little trick for you. If you want to make something look young, you will add the eyes to the center of the face. Naturally, um, babies, probably up until about first grade-ish, their eyes are gonna be more towards the center of their face, so this would be where I would place my eyes for a young child. As we get older, our face gets longer and our eyes move up, so it's more above the center line. I wouldn't really say quite one third, but this makes something look more young and probably that puppy dog innocent look. And this makes something look a little more mature, a little older. The eyes are just above the center line. So for our sunglasses, what that, what that means for our drawing is, we're gonna start just on the corner of these glasses. If we were to start here 
it would look like our glasses are too big for our face because if you think about it, the glasses should be a little wider than your face is. So we're gonna start on the inside corner. We're gonna make the bottom part of our oval. Okay, kind of a generic face shape right now. And then we're gonna go up above the glasses. So if this, we are gonna say that this is kind of our halfway point of our oval. So think here about how far up you need to go to complete that oval. And now we have our glasses sitting in the center. It's kind of like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> we have our glasses sitting just above center of our face. All right, now we're gonna personalize it just a little. This is where if you have a little mirror, um, might come in handy. Go pause and check it out in the bathroom mirror. Think about what makes your face shape unique. Some people's faces are more round, some are more squared, some are longer, some have a pointed chin, some have a rounded chin or a square jaw. We all have these different things that make us unique. And that's something that's gonna help personalize this portrait for you. So for me, my chin is a little more pointed. Um, so I'm gonna go to the bottom of my picture. Notice I use sketching lines. I meant to say this earlier. These are just light lines because I know I'm gonna be erasing. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna kind of make my chin as my center point. And then my face actually angles up a little more closely, a little more quickly than a rounded face. Mine is more long. I might even make this a little more narrow. Okay, if your face is more square, then your chin might be up a little higher. You might keep that rounded line. This is just a general, just to personalize the face a little. Go ahead as you're working and gently erase those lines that are extra so it doesn't get confusing. We're gonna do the same with our hairline. Okay, so fill your head for just a moment. Fill where your hair starts. It actually, your hair doesn't start right here on the top of your head. That's the very tip top of your head where your hat would fit or um, a headband would go. Your hair is actually a little below that and it comes down on your forehead a little. So think about where your hairline is. For me, I don't part mine in the middle. I part mine to the side and it kind of curves over this way. And we'll add a little fluff to the top. My hair's a little wavy, not totally straight. Add a little curve to it. And my hair parts off to the other side. If you have short hair, then you're going to stop your hair where it's short, right? It, maybe here's a chance to try out a hairstyle you've already wanted. Anybody want spiky hair? Add some spiky hair to it. Might not be quite as much as self-portrait, but kind of fun. All right, so kind of figure out where your hair would go and then erase the top of this oval. This was just for us to kind of keep our places as we were doing it. Starting to look like a person, isn't it? A little less potato headish. All right, um, ears, especially if you have short hair, you might see your ears. So here's where we're gonna start with proportions. The ears typically rest below the eyes, somewhere between the eyes and the nose. Maybe we should start with the nose since we don't have a nose yet. Let's do that. So let's start with the nose. So think about where your eyeballs would be in your glasses. Maybe put a tiny little dot there just to hold your space. So somewhere in here. Your nose is halfway between your eyes and your chin. So I'm gonna just bring my hands together halfway between my eyes and my chin. This would be the bottom of the nose. When you find this halfway point between where your eyes would be and your chin, draw a small line, very small line. This is gonna be that center part of your nose between your two nostrils. And then make a slight curve on both sides. This is gonna be the start of our nose. You know, some of us are used to drawing like a straight line for our nose, and that's, that's great from the side, but we're gonna get a little more um, sophisticated with it here. All right, and then, so this is the center of the nose. This is the curve of the two nostrils. And then we're gonna have the outside edge of our nose that comes around the side. And really, that's all you need to do to suggest where the nose might be in our picture. If you wanted to, you could bring the sides up a little more. Noses are something that really shows personality too. Well, not personality, they show um, a uniqueness to each of our faces, right? So maybe your nose is a little wider or maybe it's a little smaller. Whatever you wanna do to kind of personalize it, you can. We all have this little um, spot right under our noses 
and I'm just making it kind of a V shape. I made one side a little longer than the other. All right, so from our nose to our chin, halfway is the center of our mouth. Let me show that again. So we did our nose is between the eyes and the chin halfway. It's the bottom of our nose. From our nose to our chin halfway is the center of our mouth. So I want you to go from your nose to your chin and draw a little bit of a line again. This is gonna be the start of our mouth. The mouth is about as wide as your eyes are. So think about where your pupils would be behind these glasses and bring it down. That will be the corners of your mouth. Check it out on yourself if you're not sure. See, maybe yours is a little smaller, a little larger, but this is the average. So I'm gonna draw the center straight line of my mouth. I actually have um, a little bit of a smaller mouth, so mine will be a tiny bit smaller because remember I'm adding details about myself in here. I'm kind of hiding them in. And I'm gonna curve my lines up just a little so it doesn't look like I'm gonna be frowning. So this is the middle line of your mouth. And then think, take a look in the mirror and see, is your top lip larger or your bottom lip? Are they about the same? Most of us have a starting point right here. We either have a sharp V, it's kind of pointed like this, or we have more of a curve. Decide what you have. And then you're gonna take, so I made a V and I curved mine. Yours might be a little sharper depending on the shape of your mouth. And I'm gonna take the edge of this and I'm just gonna meet the side of my mouth. We have a realistic mouth shape. My bottom lip is a little bit bigger than my top one. I'm gonna start with a diagonal line and then I'm gonna just connect the two. There we go. Faces are very symmetrical, the same on both sides, and that's not the easiest thing to draw sometimes, to get the both sides of the face, the both sides of the mouth, both sides of the nose the same. So here's the trick. You can take your picture and hold it up in a mirror and be able to see quickly if you're off in your symmetry or the sameness somewhere. The, our eyes kind of correct things for us when we look at them, but when we put them in the mirror and we see a reverse image of it in the mirror, our eyes pick up really quick on where our problem spots might be. So if something seems off and you're not quite sure, go hold it up in the mirror and you might could see really quickly where maybe one side of your face is a little off or one side of your mouth, but we're gonna go with it for now. That's just a, um, an extra, you don't have to do that. All right, so we have our face in. Okay, so ears, back to ears. So ears rest between the eyes. So we said that our eyeball would be somewhere right in here and our nose. So if you wanted to add ears, they're gonna sit somewhere under the edge of these glasses. And they stay pretty close to the face, especially if you're doing something um, that is um, from the front angle like this. So pretty close. And then ears is another place that, you know, some people have, it's really kind of like a C, a C curve, I guess. Um, that's something that sometimes our ears are longer. Maybe you have earrings and you want to add an earring onto your ears. If you don't see your ears and your hair is over them, don't even worry about it. No biggie. All right, so you have the basis of your face. We're going to add our neck. The neck is kind of like how we talked about with the sunglasses. We don't want to start on the outside edge of our face. Our neck is actually in just a little. So just like we started on the edge of this, we're going to start on the edge of our face. And we're going to go straight down first. And then we're going to curve. Again, this is where you can personalize it. Maybe you have a longer neck, a shorter neck. Look in the mirror and see, where does my chin hit? Does it hit at the bottom of my neck or does my neck go down a few inches more? And then decide what kind of shirt you're gonna have on. I uh, have been wearing the same sweatshirt since we've been home a lot, um, and it's a V-neck. So I think just for fun, I'm gonna put my favorite sweatshirt on here, V-neck. Whatever you wanna do for yours. So our faces are drawn. Just as a review, from the top of our head to our chin, our eyes are just above halfway. From our eyes to our chin, our nose is halfway. And from our nose to our chin, our lips are halfway. Our ears sit between our eyes and our nose. You can use this in any kind of drawing that you're doing to get the right proportions for your face. Next, you're going to go over your face with a black Sharpie or a black pen, whatever you have. Go around your sunglasses too. And then to really give it that pop art look, 
After you've gone over it and pinned, you can erase your pencil lines. The only things we're gonna color in are our sunglasses and our shirt. And the reason is just for that pop art look. But for your sunglasses in the reflection, I want you to think of a memory that you have, maybe a favorite place that you like going or something that you're looking forward to, something that's personal to who you are. And let's see it reflected in your glasses. So you could draw, um, if you love to read, maybe you want to draw a book being reflected in your glasses. If you love the ocean, it might look like the ocean. Um, all sorts of things. I like to be outside and go on hikes. And I love all the wildflowers that are blooming right now. So I kind of did a view from one of my favorite hikes on a nice clear day. That's what's being reflected in my glasses. My son. Oh, oh yeah. Legoland. <laughs> That's where he would rather be right now. That's what's reflected in his glasses and he has on a camera shirt. That's pretty accurate. So that's how we're going to personalize it and make it a little bit more of a self-portrait. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. It's kind of neat to see a little bit more of, of what we get to learn about each other. Please feel free to email me or, um, or send your pictures into your teacher. I'm getting to see a lot of them that way too. And I hope you have a great time with your reflection self-portrait.